The president is making good on a threat to send troops to the southern border to head off a caravan of migrants seeking asylum. Critics are questioning the president's timing. Paula Reed has more from the White House on this. Less than two weeks before the midterm election, the Trump administration is expected to deploy hundreds of additional troops to the U.S.-Mexico border. They will not have authority to apprehend illegal immigrants, but will work on other aspects of border security, reinforcing barriers and providing reconnaissance along the border. The deployment will include engineers, medical personnel and pilots. President Trump has vowed to stop the migrant caravan making its way through Mexico, tweeting this morning, I am bringing out the military for this national emergency. At a rally in Wisconsin last night, the president also used the issue to rile his conservative base. Where do you see what happens over the next couple of weeks? You're going to see a very secure border. You just watch. The president has framed the upcoming election as a referendum on immigration. We are about law and order and borders and jobs. And they are about allowing crime to enter our country with open borders. But the caravan, which began in Honduras and is now in southern Mexico, is still weeks away from reaching the U.S. border. And the number of migrants in the group has dwindled significantly over the past few days from its peak of roughly 7,000. Until we can have a wall and proper security, we're going to be guarding our border with the military. The 800 troops will join the roughly 2,000 National Guardsmen the president dispatched in April. It's not clear if the additional deployment will also be Guardsmen or active duty. Defense Secretary Mattis is expected to sign that order for additional troops tonight, but it's unclear exactly what impact they will have because many of these migrants, if they even make it to the border, are expected to surrender to Border Patrol and seek asylum. Jeff. Paula Reed, thanks very much.